This is a crime scene where shooting incident uh, took place and the suspect is being uh, killed by a shot uh, by the police. And there were several uh, casualties. And that's about it. The crime scene is uh, to be frozen by the police. Then we'll come over and we'll uh, scan, record the entire crime scene in the untouched way. It is a specific uh, department that specialized in incident recording, incident visualization and incident reconstruction. The overview was scanned with a ray and the detail scanner from the object and the uh, and the victims were scanned with the Leos. And then later on, when the crime scene has been cleared out and the victims are uh, brought to the hospital uh, for further investigation, then you can make uh, very high detail uh, scans from uh, bullets or from injuries or from uh, trajectories uh, through uh, bodies. The accuracy is very important because always what we gain, what we uh, do, is used in court as evidence. We have chosen the Artex scanners just for their uh, possibilities uh, in the handheld scanning. It's more comfortable to work with because I'm not wired on any device. Uh, and that makes it more easy to use and to, it makes it more versatile. The court uses the 3D model to get their impression of the crime scene. So they can, with the virtual reality, they can look around at the crime scene. And then when they have looked around at the crime scene, they all have the same idea about the crime scene because they all are looking at the same uh, uh, model. And that's important, we document it, but you have to tell it what, what you did with that specific part. It gives us access to more investigation possibilities that in earlier days weren't possible. Everything had to be done on this crime scene because uh, when the crime scene is gone, you haven't got any information uh, left. And now we have the entire crime scene, so we can later on rely on measurements we have assisted in MH17. Oh, uh, hardly uh, any policeman in, uh, in the Netherlands isn't involved in that uh, investigation. All the equipment that had to be uh, had to be investigated would be, to a certain way, be demolished. At first, that specific part had to be scanned to show what it was like when we received it. And then later on, it will be opened by force or something else. And then the actually traces that are hidden in it will be taken, but then we can give a view of the whole process of the product. And yeah, we can tell that in court exactly what we did.